This is Jerry Wilson. I'm the Director of Business Development for Zero POS at Adello. And in this series of videos, we're going to take a look at employee theft, how large it is, and how it affects you as a business owner. In this particular video, we're going to take a look at the significance of the problem in the United States. We're going to take a look at how you as a business owner can recognize employee theft and just what you can do to stop it. Employee theft in the U.S. is a real problem. There are several contributing factors to this. High unemployment. We probably, each one of us, know someone who is unemployed and looking for work. A lot of those people are underemployed. That is, they've taken a job that pays less than they're used to and, and is a job that they're less than they are qualified for. There's also the low average wage. That it means that there's a, a low average wage for the beginning employee and it's very difficult to make a living at that amount. So there are a lot of people who will take that minimum wage job and say, I'll take that job for that amount of money, that amount of money and all I can steal. There's a sense of entitlement that uh, the business owner owes their employees more than just a paycheck. And these employees will steal what they feel is rightfully theirs through that sense of entitlement. Unfortunately, business owners just aren't aware of the theft that's going on and therefore it's rarely caught. That is really a, a sad state because as you'll see in these videos, employee theft is preventable. And when it is caught, it's rarely prosecuted. We've had business owners come to us at Adello and say that our software wasn't adding correctly, wasn't creating the reports correctly. And when we looked at the log files, we saw where a specific employee was stealing. We were able to tell the owner that this particular employee was stealing, how they stole and how much they stole. And the business owner was like, no, 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 that can't be true that's one of my best employees or that's my best manager. They've been with me for years. Just because an employee never calls in or doesn't take a day off and stays with you doesn't make them necessarily a good employee. Thieves don't take days off because they're scared of someone coming in behind them and finding the theft. So be aware of this as you look at theft in your operation. The statistics that I use in all of these videos were done through a very simple internet search. I found a, a website called the Statistic Brain Research Institute. You can look this up yourself and verify the numbers. But employee theft in the United States is much larger than you might think. Which brings me to employee theft fact number one, and that employees steal in excess of $50 billion a year. That's a lot of dead gum money. But that's how much employees in the United States steal every year. But how does that impact your business? Let's take a look at it. A $10 theft by an employee, if you're running a 5% net profit, that means you've got to do $200 in sales just to make up for that $10 theft. If you have five employees per day stealing that $10 each, that means that you have to do $1,000 a day just to break even from the theft. And if you're only closed, let's say four days a year, that's $360,000 a year that you have to do just to make up for the theft of those five employees. That brings me to employee theft fact number two. And that is sadly, 33% of the businesses in the United States go bankrupt due to employee theft. That's an incredible amount. And every one of those is preventable. If you need help, look to your what you have already in place in your operation. Your cash drawer. You probably have a cash drawer. Does it have a key? Do you leave the key in the drawer? Don't. Take that key out. Does your cash drawer have a button on the bottom that allows it to be opened? 
If it does, get a cash drawer that doesn't. Even the most basic cash registers have something called a non-resellable grand total. This is like an odometer in the car. If you give your, your car to your teenager for Saturday night, you look at the odometer before they leave and you look at the odometer when they come back and you're going to know just how far they, they drove. Well, that's exactly the same thing with a non-resellable grand total in the cash register. I once helped a business owner catch a thief using the, the grand totals. What this manager was doing was the business stayed open to 10. He was closing at 9, 9.30 on different nights. And what he would do was he'd do a, a zero out of the register at 9 o'clock, 9.30, and then run the rest of the night and pocket the money. What we did to catch him was we looked at the non-resellable grand total in the morning, and then we checked the non-resellable grand total the next morning. And we knew exactly how much business the, the, the uh, operation had done, and it just didn't match what the sales the manager was turning in. In the point of sale system, we have something called log files, and these allow us to do basically the same thing except with more detail, in that every touch is recorded in the system. And then we have security protocols that eliminate breaches and keep employees out of areas where they should not go, such as letting a cashier do a return or close out the business. Employee theft is preventable, but if you need help, you need to contact your local Adela or Zero POS dealer. If you don't know who that is, give us a call at 800-801-60036 and our inside sales team will point you toward your local dealer. You can always visit www.adello.com for more information or contact us at sales at adello.com. I'm always available to answer questions at jerry.wilson at adello.com. And as always, we encourage you to like us on Facebook where we have daily articles on operating a business and operating a restaurant in a profitable manner. You can follow us on Twitter, Twitter <laughs> or on LinkedIn. And please subscribe to us on uh, our YouTube account for more videos about restaurant operations.